And 10 Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins joins us right now. Bobby, you're keeping a close watch on Imelda and Umberto. You, you know, I've seen a lot of hurricanes kind of close to each other. I don't think I've ever been able to say a hurricane pulled another hurricane away from us because that's exactly what's happening. This was actually coming close to us, but really up in the uh, South Carolina. And because of the pull of this, that's actually going to turn it to the east and take it back out to see and kind of follow behind it. So Umberto is the stronger one, although it's weakening now. But Imelda at the same time is strengthening, and that would get a little bit uh, stronger. So you can see the big area of rain is going to stay offshore. That's actually it's going to get a little bit closer as it moves to the north, but it's about ready to start turning to the north and the east. And so we have these little showers like we saw earlier today. They're mainly off the coast, but there's a couple from Flagler to Ormond to Daytona. Tona right now, just not much coming in overnight, but they're going to continue that rain chance. Ours is basically drying up, and I think most of the areas here will stay dry overnight. Look at the cloud shield all the way up to Maine, 1,300 miles. It's the clouds associated with Imelda, a lot smaller than, than what is uh, uh, Umberto, but this is partly due to some upper level winds that are kind of stretching those clouds out a little bit. 65 mile per hour winds as of 11 o'clock. It's moving to the north at 8. That slowed down one mile per hour, but when they slow down, they tend to turn. And that's the reason why they're slowing down. And you can see the forecast does have it turning pretty quickly overnight tonight. It does get it to hurricane strength tomorrow. 90 mile per hour winds near Bermuda on Wednesday. So Bermuda has a hurricane watch in effect. Of all these storms, it looks like Imelda has the best chance of seeing them. Not even this one. This is uh, Humberto at 115 mile per hour winds now, continuing to weaken. It was Cat 5 at one point, but you can see where Bermuda is and it's going to go up and around. So the highest winds will stay away from the island, at least from from that storm, but they'll still get clouds and they'll get some rain from it.